Please stand for the Pledge of Allegiance. I pledge allegiance to the flag of the United States of America and to the Republic for which it stands, one nation, under God, indivisible, and with liberty and justice for all. Please stand for a moment of silence. Good morning, Sun High. Today is Thursday, October 19th, 2023. It's a day five. For lunch, we have a cheeseburger, french fries, and green beans. In guidance news, Fisher College is hosting a table at lunch today. Fisher College is a small four-year private school located in an urban setting and is primarily a residential campus. They offer over 30 different bachelor and graduate level programs on campus and online. For general information, the Environmental Club will be meeting during advisory today in Ms. O'Neill's room. Come join us. There will be a DECA meeting today in Ms. Cummins' room from 2 to 3 p.m. We will be making competition selections. Reminder, competition fees are due by the 31st. There are still three spots available to travel to Costa Rica in April. See Ms. Mo if you're interested in joining us. Now, now Sean with today's special. Yeah. What's up, guys? It's your favorite junior and April student. Exactly 159 years ago today, on October 19th, 1864, during the American Civil War, the Battle of Cedar Creek occurred in the Shenandoah Valley in Virginia. It was between U.S. forces, including the Army of the Potomac and the Army of West Virginia, under the command of Major General Philip Sheridan, and uh, Confederate forces under the command of Lieutenant General Jubal Early, including the Army of the Valley. Sheridan had around uh, 31,000 troops committed, while Early, Early had around uh, 21,000 troops committed. In the morning, Early gained an early advantage over his foe, taking around 1,000 men prisoner and routing a large portion of the enemy force. However, Sheridan had rallied his forces and reorganized them after his arrival at around 10.30 in the morning. At 4 p.m., Sheridan ordered a counterattack, skillfully using his cavalry to chase the enemy away. By the end of the day, Early's troops had been routed and Sheridan won the day. Sheridan around, lost around 6,000 men while Early lost around 3,000 men. Despite these losses, Early's defeat virtually ruined the Confederate efforts in the Shenandoah Valley for the rest of the war, and it was a contributing factor in Lincoln's re-election on November 8th. Now back to the guys for the rest of the news. Thanks for that. In athletics, boys soccer at Marlboro today, JV at 5, varsity at 7, be there. In eSports, matches are Rocket League against Acton Boxborough at 3.30 and Mario Kart against Pocono Mountain, Pennsylvania at 4 p.m. Matches will be played in room <laughs> 200 and broadcast live on Twitch. There will also be a Street Fighter 6 tournament on Friday at eSports Club. See Mr. Billica for more information. In other news, the Sun PTO is putting on Trunk or Treat on October 28th. If you would like to participate by entering a trunk, scan the QR code on flyers around the school to register your vehicle. Have a, Have great, a great day, day Sun High.